This is the Convene Podcast. My name is Magdalena Tanasova, Digital Media Editor of Convene. Organizational psychologist Adam Grant explains what we've gotten wrong about learning styles and how thinking about them differently can benefit our audiences. The myth of learning styles and why you should still design for them. Written and read by Barbara Palmer, Deputy Editor of Convene. The theory that we all have individual and innate learning styles, verbal or visual, auditory or kinesthetic, and that determines how well we acquire and retain information, has become a foundation of teacher training. Organizational psychologist Adam Grant writes in his latest book, Hidden Potential, The Science of Achieving Greater Things. Globally, nearly 90% of teachers believe in matching their instruction to student learning styles. But there's a problem, said Grant, a professor at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. It's a myth. Numerous studies have shown that young students and adults don't do any better on tests when teaching and study methods are in sync with their preferred learning style, he added. You may have a way that you like to learn, but that doesn't predict how well you learn in that domain. That's not to say that differences in modes of learning aren't real or that they don't offer distinct advantages, Grant writes in Hidden Potential. Unless you have a disability that makes it difficult to parse text, when it comes to critical thinking, there's no substitute for reading, he wrote. Grant's research validates my own habit of going straight to the transcript when I'm trying to understand the points that a recorded speaker is making, and it underscores the value of AI-enabled initiatives that immediately deliver written summaries of speaker remarks to meeting attendees. But relying entirely on reading to learn leaves out important information. Listening to the human voice is ideal for understanding emotions, Grant wrote. If you're trying to improve your social and emotional intelligence, you're probably better off paying attention to audio. Tone of voice is a more accurate, pure signal of what people are feeling than audio and pictures combined. The risk of just listening Grant told Armchair Expert Podcasts, co-hosts Dax Shepard and Monica Padman during a conversation about his book in October, is that it's too easy to nod and agree with the person who's talking because you can be seduced by the charisma of their voice. You can get into the flow or the rhythm of the argument that they're making. Kinesthetic learning could be described as practicing what you learn, he wrote. In dozens of experiments, both children and adults learn languages faster when they're required to use it, however inexpertly, rather than just comprehend it through reading or listening. That's true not just in learning languages, but in learning other skills, Grant wrote in his book. The adage, use it or lose it, doesn't go far enough. If you don't use it, you might never gain it in the first place. One of the biggest takeaways about learning from Grant's book is the value of embracing discomfort. Both for individuals and for groups, tolerating discomfort is a key to growth. To get the most out of learning styles, you have to be willing to embrace the discomfort of stepping out of your preferred learning style, Grant said during the podcast. Sometimes the mode that's hardest for you is the one where you actually process information the most deeply. Among the lessons for meeting organizers, match learning methods. Written takeaways, interactive exercises, hands-on labs, podcasts, storytelling, 
with the learning goals your attendees and your organization are trying to achieve. Two, don't try to erase all discomfort. That helps people to grow. And three, give participants choices and opportunities to interact with others. Choice propels learning, Grant writes. Interest is amplified when we have the opportunity to choose what we learn and to share it with others. If you enjoyed this episode, do give us a five-star review and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more industry insights, visit pcma.org slash convene. Until next time.